Well, I'm here again at the hangar with the Legal Eagle. Today I'm going to discuss, can this be built sub 254 pounds to make it part 103, meaning you can fly it in the United States without a license. Okay, part 103, it's been a big discussion on a lot of the forums uh, whether this can in fact be made to uh, be under the 254 pound limit. I honestly believe it can. Having said that, mine is 280 pounds prior to me putting on the Tundra tyres and the oil filter, which added two pounds. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm gonna do a bit of a walk around on the aircraft and point out where I believe weight can be saved to get everybody's aircraft under 254 pounds. You're gonna to have to go with, without some niceties. There is no doubt whatsoever about that, but yes, it can be done. Let's get started. Oil filter, don't need, that's two pounds. If you put that on your aircraft, you are gaining two pounds to the aircraft. You gaining longevity to the life of that engine as well at the same time. But this is a way to save weight. This is the oil catch can. It weighs 700 grams or around the one pound mark. Again, one pound gone, one pound saved. Looking underneath here, no suspension. I have in fact removed the suspension. The suspension saved, I think it was one or two pounds. I can go back and take a look at that. Brakes on wheels. Do you need brakes? According to the plans, the original plans, no you don't. You've got rotors, calipers, even the mounting plate that's used to mount the calipers on. You've got cabling that goes up to the levers. Now there's no need, no need for levers, no need for the attachment point for those levers at all. Now while I'm in the cockpit, having a look around can save some more weight three pounds in the altimeter. Now it's it's a great altimeter, I love it. It's, it's steam gauge, again, I don't need to stay under 254 pounds. However, you can do away with that. Engine instruments, don't need, not essential, not essential. Yes, we like to have them, but they are not essential if you wanna get under the 254 pounds, slip, airspeed indicator. You can do away with that. You can have one of the hall speed indicators, which, goes out onto the jury strut, or on, on the, yes, the jury strut out on the side. When that happens, you then do away with all the, all the tubing and the pedo tube itself. Again, weight savings here. What else in the cockpit? If I look up here, we've also got fuel tanks. I have two of these. Now these are roto molded fuel tanks, left and right. You only need one, don't need two. I've got some plans for some big trips. 13 pounds for two tanks. You build an aluminium tank, you're looking at about five pounds. And on top of the 13 pounds I was thinking this morning, there's plywood that goes here and along here, again, adding more weight than just the pure weight of the tank itself. There's also strengthening applied to that plywood. And I'll move back a little bit. Coming back, okay, there we go, paint. On the leading edge of the wing, paint down the back, on the tail, again it all adds weight. You'd be looking at, that's quite, it is, it's a couple of coats, it's quite heavy, it's quite thick. I'd reckon two pounds saved. And I reckon you want to save three, four pounds. My fuselage, it's a two pack epoxy. It's, uh, it's been all professionally done. Again, you could save three, four pounds. You don't need that. You can just spray it with, with, a, uh, with a spray can. Moving around this aerial, this antenna at the back, at least a pound. Got the wire, these ferrite core, I think they're called ferrite core, that goes on here. They're weighty. The cabling that leads all the way up to the back you can just use the, the regular handheld radio, which I use, but I actually plug that into this cable. Coming down the back, what else have we got? Tail wheel springs, about a pound, could make that a little bit lighter. We've got the chain, we've got the springs that are going to the tail wheel on both sides of the aircraft. Just continue the cabling straight down here to the, to the tail wheel itself. Have a joiner up there to the rudder. 
Moving around, where else can I save more weight? Looking, looking, looking. Gap cover, I would keep it. I wouldn't get rid of that. I think it would affect the aerodynamics too much. And I think it's part of the plans anyway. So move along. Everything right here. Okay, more weight saving on my aircraft. Mounting blocks, I've got two mounting blocks on each wingtip. Mounting block here on the inside and a mounting block here on the other side. That was for the Piper Cub style wingtips that I've made, haven't finished, and I'm pretty sure I'll never do it anyway. What I'll possibly do with those is a video of me putting the Oritex on and demonstrating how good the Oritex is to work with. What we have is an aircraft that I honestly believe can be built very, very light, certainly sub 254. Like I said, just do away with some of the niceties, things that you don't honestly need to fly. Then you can fly this without a license. Now, having said that, I would never advocate flying this or any other aircraft without some kind of training. This is not, it's not for beginners. Um, flying is not a beginner type sport. You can't just hop in, throttle up and away you go. Please get some training. You may be able to fly without a license in the US. We can't do it here in Australia. If it flies, it's licensed and you've got to be able to uh, prove that you can in fact fly it. So there you have it, that's my opinion. Yes, you can build this under 254 pounds. You either choose to build it under 254 pounds or you choose to not build it under 254 pounds. Now you can also choose to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I encourage people to do all three. I'm having a good time. And while we're talking about having a good time, just remember, you wanna keep building, you wanna keep flying, keep smiling. Catch you soon guys, bye. I'll do a tally up and I'll start again. So do you need a license? While you're out there, just remember, nobody likes to be told that their baby is fat. You tell me my baby's fat, we're stepping outside, we're gonna have words.